I love making these. I make them every year. And in fact, I even grow green beans with the pickled green beans in mind. I really like to grow the nice slender green beans. So these can be used in Bloody Marys on a charcuterie board. And I just love them to snack on. They're really great. When we make these, we're going to can them in a water bath canner. The vinegar is so acidic that nothing can survive in there that would be toxic to you. So they taste much better after they've set for about six weeks. You don't want to eat them immediately after making them. You want the vinegar to have a little bit of time to age and mellow. I am also going to add a few spears of carrots to this batch because I did that last year. I made a whole jar full of carrots and they were so good. This is a really simple process. You do not need to worry about this being a big production. It's not. You could do this in you know an hour. And the prepping of the green beans is simple. All I did was take off the very ends, the kind of pointy ends, and then any stems that were left, I just uh, cut those off. The other step that you need to do before anything else is you need to take four clean canning jars. And I like to use the wide mouth pint ones for this. They're much easier to get the green beans in there. Then you're gonna wanna fill a big pot full of water and put on the bottom of the pot something like this, like a, a round cake cooling rack, a wire rack. And you're gonna set that in the bottom of your pot, which will you know, really lift the jars off the bottom of the pan. Boil the jars for about 10 minutes to sterilize them. And then we're gonna take the jars off, fill it with some delicious spices and the green beans, and then we're gonna pour a brine over the top. So you want five cups of vinegar. This is just white distilled vinegar. So it's equal parts vinegar and water. A half a cup kosher salt. And then you just stir that together and put it on the stove. Bring it to just barely boiling. You do not want it to sit on the stove and boil because you don't want it to evaporate. I have this pot so full that I definitely don't want it to boil over. So. Okay, so we got our hot jars out of the water and we are gonna pack them with green beans. And what I like to do, because I want them to stand up in the jar, is I just try to get as big of a handful as possible, organize them so that they're standing up. Just keep adding to it. Sometimes they turn out better than others in terms of their appearance in the jar, but they always taste great. Okay, I'm gonna call this one full enough. I'm gonna slide a red chili in there, maybe a few of these carrots, and then quarter teaspoon of mustard seed, a few peppercorns, a quarter teaspoon of coriander seed, a bay leaf, and some dill seed. These pickled green beans are often called dilly beans. These are just from a dill plant in the garden, and when I have them, at the same time that I'm making the beans, I really like to put them in there because they're, they're very pretty. All right, so there's one. We're gonna fill all the rest of these with the same ingredients and then pour the brine over. We got our jars all packed with the spices and the green beans and the carrots. Our brine is piping hot and now we are gonna pour it in there. And you wanna leave about a half an inch of headspace on these jars is like just to the bottom of the threads of the jar. And then the next step is you wanna take a damp, clean cloth and just wipe the edge just to make sure it's clean for the lid to seal. And then we're gonna use these two-part lids. You don't wanna reuse these. It's fine to reuse the bands, but you don't wanna re reuse the lids because they have this seal. And these are just finger tight. You don't have to really crank the lid down or anything. In 2020, there was a run on them though and they were really hard to come by, but they're back in the stores now. All right, so these are now ready to go back into the hot water bath canner and you don't wanna let them sit here. You wanna get them in there while they're nice and hot because you don't want cool jars going into boiling liquid. Our 
cream beans and carrots are out of the canner. They're still piping hot. They need to cool completely. It looks like all the lids have sealed. They kind of pull down in and make a little click. You just want to leave them though until they're completely cool. And as I said before, you don't want to taste them until they've had a chance to really sit for about six weeks. So I thought we could try some of these from last year. Those are great. One of the things I love about them is you notice like when we pack them in there, we're not pre-cooking them or anything and they're only in the canner for five minutes. So they're getting cooked, but they're still really hanging on to that crunch. That's what I love about them. I don't really like to can cucumber pickles because they tend to lose that crunch. It, I've tried everything to avoid them getting kind of soggy, but nothing I've done has ever worked. So I just stick with the green beans and the carrots. The carrots also hold up really well. What's different is the sweetness from the carrot and they're, they're really delightful and they go great together. These can sit on your shelf for a year or more. You don't want them to sit much longer than a year because they can, you know, they'll just change. The flavor will change. They'll always be safe to eat, but they, the, the flavors can change in a way that maybe you wouldn't really like that much. So I hope you will try them and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, please like and subscribe. You can find us at eartheats.org where we have a weekly podcast and lots of recipes and interesting stories about food. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time.